Okay. So I'm going to try to make a video on how to do skins. I'm not real good at making videos. Uh, one, I like to have all my items in a folder, reference photos, uh, artwork, the skin with the uh, paint.net file. Makes it easier to come back and fix everything or uh, make modifications later that you discover in the game. So we open up paint.net. I have uh, the door patch, two reference photos. This is more so I can help to get the color, uh, figure out how I'm going to do the striping and whatnot. And my paint.net file. In the paint.net file, my base background is the skin I'm working on. In this case, it's skin one or engine one skin. Then what I find easier is working in layers. Um, so I'll open a bunch, a couple layers here. Then uh, looking at the reference photo, I know that I need a top paint for the cab, a bottom paint for the cab, a stripe layer, layer, probably a decal layer, and uh, I usually do the body on its own. That's so I can come in and adjust the cab paint layers. Because uh, sometimes matching up from the UV mask to the in-game is a little tricky. So then I appropriate name my layers. So we'll go cab bottom color. Cab top color body color and we'll stop there. We'll get it painted. Then uh, we'll go into layer let doing decals. So want to figure out at least the yellow ish mustard color for the cab. Most of the time I use base game, base program colors down here. Um, you have to tweak them like the red, the light red. And a brighter light red looks like uh, an orange color in the game. So you have to play with it a little bit, but you usually can get it square away. So for the cab bottom color, we know we're going to use a red. So come over here, grab our square tool want to find a place the reference point so like usually right here where this fold line is use that bring it down I like that area so the move tool allows us to move our select field get our fill bucket I'm gonna fill that to red I'm just gonna copy paste that Move that down here. Find that line again. Get it just about close. To the edge of the cab. Up a little. We'll go there. Top cab color, we're doing the same, pretty much the same thing. We'll just copy paste. Move this square select field up. We'll fill it that color. Same here. What's nice about working in layers is that you're able to change your hierarchies. So I know that that's, I want that just to be behind the red. That way it'll come out and look that way. Also allows you to come in and modify just a single layer. So if you know that you need to adjust this color, you highlight it, you can adjust it up. You have room for error. Uh, body color, it's all going to be red. Select this. Highlight it red. Fill. Fill that red. Paste. That right. What that does is now it gets us our basic side colors. We have to do the front and the, the cab. So we want to the bottom. Paste. Find a spot on the body. 
the reference line. So I'm just going to use this split line right here. Pull this up. Let's get it close. It doesn't have to be exactly within them lines. It can have some overhang. To the top. This your wand tool allows you to select a color square. Copy paste. I'm going to throw this a little bit. Come in. We'll just get it to roughly fit. Also, this right here is your roof. So we're going to copy. Paste this that way. Now our roof is going to be that yellow color. With all that, oh, I see a problem here. It's bottom of the lower cap. See this purple that's poking through? That's going to be a part on your actual truck in the game that's not going to be colored. So we want to make sure this into position just right. Looks like it's the body. That. This over. Bring that over like that. That way, then everything looks about covered. Doesn't look like much here, but as we go... Had this set up just right. Computer shut down. It's over. This screen. Come into the game. Oop. I did screw up. Come back to paint.net. I'm going to file save this as into our mod folder here skins we're going to engine one we want to make sure we drop this here to png then we want to change this to engine one skin like that it's safe yeah there's one in there so we'll replace it okay yes to the flatten and it's gonna come like this. I always, before I go back in, I control Z, unflatten it all. That way we can come back in and fix things because it's not exact science. Let me uh, turn the game audio down. Okay. When we come into the game, real fast tab station spawn oh, station one engine one spawn transfer two so we're here we have i brings up our custom vehicle drop the color of the numbers and we load our custom skin in and right there is pretty much our base paint. You can see right in the corner there, we're not exactly square, so we're going to knock up by two pixel lines on the front to get that flush. But that's pretty much the basics of painting, getting a truck to a paint color. I also didn't do the top of the box, but we'll get that in the back. But that's pretty much the basics of coming in and doing a color change to the unit. From there, come back in and we open up this. Like I said, I didn't paint the back of it, so we'll fix that right now. The body. Let's see here, we're going to paint this all. That red color, that way that's all that. Then this is where it's nice is because now we know that we have to kick this red up in front of the cab. Since we have it in layers, we can select this, hit the arrow key, bump it up too. 
I'll go three. I'm gonna go file, save as, PNG. Your one, save, yes, okay. Flatten and unflatten, and we pop the game back up. And I again, load custom skin. As you can see, now the back's colored. And some reason, part of the hose bed's not covered, colored, but we'll figure that out. It's not the problem. The problem is right here. Now you can see where the line is pretty much smooth across the front. It's a little off on it. We can fix that. Fix that with a body stripe. But that's the basics to getting the truck color done.